the sun then. I remember them at the dash of a gun then. Everybody has got them bigger than Sting now. Tell Butchum and Jackson, miss it. Bump it to a beat them and all of them. Black Rhino, Stinger. You see, are you my people don't respect you and rate you no more, no brother, because of the actions them that you take. Pray for Black Rhino, you know. Pray for him because he need prayers. Yes. I love my dancehall. I like my vibes cartel. But Soka music. Carnival, Soka, Calypso, Chutney, Tassa, Steel Pan. Yeah. Blessed day my people say so in today's video we're gonna talk about Black Rhino being urged to come out of his feelings and stop the ranting on the internet. You understand? Him actually I get some serious warning same need for focus on music and stop rant on the internet. So may I play the video. Also a Rasta man named Shakin Murray, he's asking for some prayers in relation to Black Rhino. And also he might tell the people him say, Yeah man, pray for him. And also he spoke about the possibilities of Black Rhino being on this year Freedom Street concert. Also, we're gonna talk about Lisa Hyper being accused of borrowing lady Saw's style for her new song also we're gonna talk about maka diamond says that people are hating on her because of her body and all of the young boys them want her <laughs> Also, we're going to talk about Jada Kingdom saying that she will not cook for a man every day if she's in a relationship. Also, we're going to talk about a Trinidad artist firing his manager for supporting Vibes Cartel. And that same Trinidad artist is upset that Vibes Cartel is coming to Trinidad on a particular day. So, may I read the article? May I show no one go on? Because may I tell you that artist here go hard. A man fire him own manager, you know. Boy, oh boy. Also, Vibes Cartel, big up Pablo YG last night while showing support to him friend. Pinky Pink says it. Also, we're going to talk about DJ Khaled imitates Vibes Cartel while celebrating his birthday in Jamaica. And also, we're going to talk about the Sting launched that kept two days ago. And we also have some highlights on them thing, there, me? Also, a veteran artist named Jigsy King send a serious message to Bujo Bantan and all of the other entertainers, them, is it? And also, we're going to talk about our next update that we got as it relates to the Freedom Street concert. And the promoter, Joe Bogdanovich, is clearing up some confusion as it relates to the 10 thousand dollar tickets them for the people who can't afford it but he must say there will be no ten thousand dollar tickets boy oh boy so before we go further into another topics don't forget for like this video don't forget for subscribe if you're not subscribed yet it so the first thing we're going to talk about is black rhino zine so black rhino is now being warned to get off the internet go out there go make some music so people can actually talk about him music rather than talk about the runs them that he has been doing since recently understand can remember from the other day you know zine rhino has been speaking Speaking out, him even did a trouble popcorn and a diss up popcorn when popcorn did buy um cartel the Rolex what day. When you remember that, yeah man he might talk about popcorn a big friend and them something there. Even though popcorn I respond to him, but I'm pretty sure popcorn see the shades and see the this and see the that. You understand? But regardless, with Sister Rhino, you know some people feel like he's mentally broke or you know he might go through a mental crisis right now you see it but I have a video where I go play and the person I tell him say yo he need to go make some good music so people can talk about him music rather than I talk about him for, for, for negative reasons and stuff like that so I play the video you can tell me if you don't agree or not in the comment section listen this Black Rhino Stinger you see are you my people don't respect you and rate you no more no brother because of the actions them that you take now we know say so you are the first son, Zane. We know you are one of the bodies thing forever come out of the uh, Gaza Empire. But at some point you have to check yourself and realize say, yo, the fame they kind of died down, you know. And you still have lived from past memories and all of that. Now despite the fact that you were maybe the first son and the, 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 the one that, you know, pulled the Gaza apart from Vibes Cartel, everybody and their mother know that Popcorn was the favorite son, despite the fact. And Pop can come boy and improve, improve himself more than one time. Now, how oh, are you mad? Why are you mad that Pop can assure a musical father gratitude by buying him a watch, a Rolex? Remember, without Vibes Cartel, we wouldn't know you and we wouldn't know Pop can. So, bad man, come out to your feelings because you don't open your feelings too long. Sometimes, one if you're a woman. Brother, just humble yourself, man, and stop force the thing. And drop some music, you never know, one of them might catch traction. But when you come and not show you, you diss them and you share them on the man them. And them they catch traction and them the people are see you far. And because of that, them something the way you do, or that will overshadow your music. Because that more trending than your music. No, for Gen Z, you them not even know so you use the music. 
because your, your animosity where you put on the internet is more of um, a telling thing than your music. Stop being like a punk, man. Humble yourself, humble. All right, my people. So I don't feel like the more I rant, or the more I make things worse for himself on the internet, I don't feel like so the ranting will eventually just make him feel better because sometimes, you know, when you talk, you get things uh, for your brain or, you know, you just get for release the stress or whatever it may be, is it? So I don't know, but I don't know anything about what you tell say. And since we're on the topic of Rhino Zane, shocking Murray, a Rasta man over TikTok, basically I said the people, you know, for pray for Black Rhino and thing because you don't know as me say enough people feel like him are go treat mentally and stuff like that now shocking murray also spoke about the possibilities of black rhino being at freedom street but i remember you know my people that is what they said about popcorn say him now go daddy and we say vi- well not that him now go daddy because popcorn is same go daddy but him now go perform and stuff like that and we say popcorn is going to be performing and it looked like him go perform for long and stuff but anyway you know the man has said people for pray for black rhino and stuff like that let me get to this video only can tell me anything about this in the comment section, is it? Listen this. Pray for Black Rhino, you know. Pray for him. Because him need prayers. Yes. Me see him but alive, you know. A ball. And I say. Party a go on and then I invite him. Oh, freedom show a go on and then I invite him to come perform. And he need prayer. We know for pray for him. And then now, me hear the people, they must say, Cartel now nah book him for him, sure. And me ask the people, they must say, How oh, no know that? How oh, no know that Cartel now nah book Black Rhino for him, sure? Because the same thing, that's about popcorn, you know. Oh, they no deal. Cartel now nah book puppy. Puppy this and puppy that. They not nah one will link up the other day. And announce it there. Popcorn the power freedom sure. So what if Black Rhino and Cartel shame on like our popcorn and cartel shame on You see it? Una go on like say. I wanna have cartel head pa on neck. And I wanna have him brain. Like I wanna have him thinking engine. Like when I can see not him on head, not him brain, I know where he might think. <laughs> Anyway, Black Rhino, go check the pastor man. We did a fight off the lady in the church the other day. I ask him if he can pray for you. Can you look like you need some prayer for you, you know, brother? You need some prayer, man. So go check the pastor man there. And go and keep your finger crossed, you know, because you don't know. What about one, you know? Or maybe you know you just hack. See? And come from like boy or bad. That ballin, man. And go and go check the pastor, man. Me! Shocking Murray said that. All right, my people. So that's what's going on. Only can tell me if you don't agree with what Shaquille Marie is saying. They have not itched no more upon the whole rhino topic here. Um, next thing we're going to talk about is a Trinidad artist firing his manager because his manager is in support of Vibes Cartel. Yes, my people. The artist here rally against Vibes Cartel. Wicked. Before me even, can I have a video for play with the same artist as well in a zine? Because he have a lot of things to get off him chest in relation to Vibes Cartel coming to Trinidad to perform and stuff like that. Is it me? And of course, that's next year in a February. Anyway, before me get into all of that, let me actually read the article so we get an understanding and then we can move into the rest of things. MZ. So the article is saying, Soka artist goes on hunger strike protesting Vibes Cartel in Carnival. Soka artist Yankee Boy, real name Kevin Heath, has started a hunger strike to protest dancehall superstar Vibes Cartel performing at a concert in Trinidad on Carnival Friday. While not a lot of entertainers have been given, it was revealed by the promoter that cartel will be part of an event called one caribbean music festival on fantastic friday however this has not gone down well with yankee boy who took to his instagram page to express his disgust carnival is supposed to be only soca calypso Chutney, Steel Pan and Tasso, he wrote. So when you get a little rundown as to how him feel and why him no one cartel come there, come perform and stuff like that. Zin. So remember me telling you say, him then make a post, I reveal um well, me I'm gonna play the video first. Check out that video here and they will move on to the post them way make. Listen this. All you are checking in, all the time I stay in quiet. 
Carnival is supposed to be Soka, Calypso, and Chutney. Or let's see Carnival Friday. I call in all my Soka friends and I put in a cast together. I know I don't have the money, but I go mad go fund me. So all the Soka lovers, if you really support Soka lovers, and I want all the new and the upcoming artists too. Yeah. We ain't taking that. We ain't losing with soccer culture like that. A Yankee boy. Sorry. I understand on a business standpoint. But this one is not for business. This is culture. This one is for culture. Not greed. I love my dance hall. I like my vibes cartel. But soccer music. Carnival. Soccer. Calypso. Chutney. Tassa. Steel pan. Yeah. Come on, Trinidad. We're not going down like this. I'm not losing my culture like this. What happened to Ash Wednesday? All right, my people. And only hear him say him now have the money, but him start a GoFundMe. That at the GoFundMe page where you see right now, Fight Against Dance Hall versus Soka Carnival Friday, February the 28th. So I want people for donate for, for help. But this initiative, you understand, him no one cartel company that particular day. And him say him love dance hall and everything there. Anyway, he makes some other post, right? And him say, I just fired my manager in Trinidad and Tobago. He wants to go hashtag vibes cartel and making money for me. No way. Boy, oh boy, the man I get rid of everybody. But anyway, he makes some other post him says there are 52 fridays in the year pick another date you people are killing soca and continuously making excuses this is extremely irresponsible no ir yeah irresponsible and greedy carnival supposed to be only soca calypso chutney steel pan and tassa and him go on for say but the real question is who is the investor you realize they behind the scenes carnival supposed to be only soca calypso whatever whatever we cannot go to a reggae festival and play so yeah, see it, my people. So, man, I worry my preach right now, you know. Yeah, see it. Well, anything about this, because I'm pretty sure that Jamaica, one of them places where support um, soca music and them something, they understand. Carnival keeping a Jamaica and them thing. But I don't know. I am not obviously from Trinidad and Tobago, so I can't even speak on where this brother is. But only see it for yourself. Only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Sting Launch that kept two days ago, right? I don't know. I have some highlights for show no and stuff like that, right? Yeah, man, it was actually a good launch and you don't know some of the artists them who is going to be performing at Sting was there also you know say I don't think them give us the full lineup yet but you don't know say Tommy Lee Sparta will be there Jamal Duns Egyptian, um, the girl, I wish she named the Rasta girl, Kuyana or something like that. I can't remember for her name properly, but yeah, man, what about people are going there? You see it? So, as I say, I have little highlights. Also, um, an artist named Jigsy King, veteran artist in the business. He might call out some of the artists them because he might see a lot of them turn them back on Sting and he might act like them better than the event now. You understand him call Bujubanta name and he might send a serious message to them. So I play that first and also I'm going to show you some little highlights. Um, you know, so Isaiah Leng was there, of course. He might the boss. You know, him son Tahir Leng. Tahir, yeah, Tahir Leng was there as well, obviously. I am a run up sting now and them thing there. So check out these highlights and only can tell more anything about this in the comment section. Mm. Everybody have let them bigger than sting now. Tell Butch about that and miss it. Bunty kill up beat them and all of them. And this will win. And this will win. I want to know better. Woman should not respect to Mr. Leng. Hey, what is that song? Last year we come perform, you know. We can perform when we swap it, we not send the other. You know why? Because we just need a Tony Curtis. Oh, can we look when you tell me a dollar? The first time we see 10, 10 million dollars because of you, you know. As my left thing, they book me in New York, Canada, just because of that. You remember the walk of that say, Give me the word, go down to me. Our book will say they're one of the biggest power ever at Steam. Some Salem, you know, listen to me now. When they tell me, they say, slow down. Some of we, we are grateful. Some of artists are great and grateful. Come, Salem, give me a platform and tell the world over a million years. World over a million years. Many of you, that man, can tell me, say, tell me about no money or not at all. See, me remember September when we entered the stage, 
you, you grace me with me, Uchu, a uh, killer, and the whole man tell. So we know the man tell me no matter. Oh man, we have to respect Mr. Lane. If I was never Mr. Lane, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Dance out, we're going to be with Mr. Lane. I stink and get up people think. We don't want a man coming like they want to show up on Mr. Lane. You know. Mr. Lane, no respect. Thank you, Mr. Lane. I'm going to tell you, hey, Mr. Lane, listen. You think that they should be for five months, five minutes? One day for sacrifice with no money, data. The pen is every day, 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 I know we are the we are lucky road. It comes to pull up and the We never not We don't need money, and so we need a career. I'm ready to me up here and the tears. Get the help and the song. For the Steve, whenever you tell us, I'm going to make you a name for me. I said, read me. I said, I'm going to make you a name for me. I said, I'm going to make you a name for me. I said, I'm going to make you a name for me. I said, I'm going to make you a Greetings of Spain. Give you guys where it's coming from, where it came from, where everything, right? So, so the founder of Spain, you know, my dad, Isaac Helen, who he started out this event for the less fortunate. So, you know, all the people from the volatile areas and people strike by poverty and those stuff, they always support his team. So, it really originated from Jonestown and John's Road. So you know Jonestown, John Road, and John's Road in Spanish Town, right? Most of these people look forward to sleep every year, annually. It's their staple event, right? So I'm trying, my, my main focus here is to keep the event as an event that builds the culture, builds the people, builds the young people and the young artists, give them a platform for them to rise to the occasion, right? Okay, so let me give you a small synopsis, so like story. So, you know, my dad, he started the show in 1984, right? It, so, he started as a sound system in sound class show. You get me? Um, so we were, here, we, were, we were here to look at the fact that this platform has made it for a lot of people in dance a lot of people, as, as much as even the vendors and the people who send their kids to school annually, right? It has produced a lot of jobs for people along, along the way, and we want yeah, man. So, what do you think, people? When you feel like the artists, them, more are asking an honest question. When you feel like the dancehall artists, them, turn them back on Sting, or do you think that Sting did shady business in the past? That is why this is happening. What happened now? Because enough artists, them, they won't, them, go, them not upon Freedom Street, but them not go to Sting. You understand? Because maybe money, you know, bad money business in the past, and you don't know people say Sting or artists and all these things. So, let me know what you think about this in the comments section so the next thing we're going to talk about is jada kingdom saying that she will not cook for a man every day if she and him in a relationship i don't know them say the way to a man heart a trim stomach or something like that but she says she's not going to be the type of female we're going to entertain something like that yes she will cook for him one and two times and stuff like that and also she reveals say she don't make man know say she can cook on them someday and i guess the way she's talking is because she had talked about a man who she dealt with and not a man who she married to. That's what I get from what she's saying. So I think if she married, things might change. You understand? But you don't know enough people not going to agree with what she said. Because sometimes the woman them start to play the wife role. So the man can say, yeah, a wife is material this. Rather than wait till you're married, you start to play the wife role. But I could get to a Jada Kingdom officer. And as usual, my people, only can tell me if you agree or not in the comment section. Is it? Listen this. Still, every man asks, anytime man asks if I can cook, I tell them no. I'm gonna tell man so I can cook. Like, I feel like if I'm with you, I mean, like, you're more cook, so you know so I can cook, you know? But I'm not gonna cook for you every day. Like, I'm not your wife, I'm not doing that. 
I cook come feel like more, more, more cook. I'm cook for enough for it's like, oh, she can make this and she can make that and she can cook this and she can cook that. But don't look out for that every day. Anytime one ask them, can cook me, tell them no. Anytime one ask me, can cook me, tell them no. I can't do nothing. But nothing I can do. Nothing. I've never told a guy I could cook, ever. Like, me learn some traits early where it's like it really bring me a long way in my life. Like, yeah. Because regardless of nuts, that man I go on here whether he can cook or not, he re the, the men don't really give a f. Yeah. 98% of wives, they can't cook shit. I'm telling you, if, you're, if you have a girl right now, she cook, clean, do everything, all this, whatever, and you go to road and you see a girl where, quote unquote, just have the look where you want or whatever the case may fucking be and she can't cook, she can't do one squat. Yeah go, yeah go, yeah go, go fair. Like a guy will look a hole in the wall. Like what are you talking about? Men are out here literally in animals. Like go Google it. That's how all of these look these STDs and shit are even about. Men looking animals horses and the dogs go google it this is public information that's there like i guess panty size whoa, whoa, whoa. okay gotta go <laughs> gotta blast all right, my people, and you don't know the way she feel or the way how she feel is it. And every woman I got to think the same way as me say, well, you have some woman who will play the wife role even before them married to the man, do the most, wash, cook, clean, every single thing. You have some where does not go do that because I ring no dip on them finger. And I feel like at that, she has said, I don't think Jada Kingdom obviously would have married and treat her husband the way they so. She does attack if she in a regular relationship. Well, I hope of that. <laughs> I hope that you mean, but anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing I'm going to touch upon quick and fast is Vibes Cartel, who actually go out for supporting friend last night. And the girl we are talking about is Pinky Pinks. You know, so them actually call her Cartel right hand, um, right hand woman. Yeah, we're not going to say right hand man. You don't know. Them call her that because she always their own cartel a lot of the times. And you don't know you always see her with him. That's basically it, isn't it? When him got make her, she always did and them things. So it seems like she have a little event now on Wednesday in the 420 Club named some shots, something another. See, I don't remember what it name. But anyway, cartel did and you don't know him, I show him support to her. And, um, you know, she hand him the talk of phone and him, uh, do him like a rhyming thing, him big up Pablo YG and him also a rhyme about him, son them and showing away him gun them and and all these things. <laughs> One thing with Carter, they're going to find a way for rainbow everything, you know. So, check out the little clip of my people. We don't even two to a each man a topic here still, but you don't know me see it and me just say, you know, I'm going to share it to you, know. So, check out this. Santa, Big up, you know. Yeah, pinky set, my G. I mean, the part of the bad man, big man, for my G. Yeah, you hear me? I big up Pablo YG. I big up the son, then. I remember them, let me dash them about them. I big up the Tosses, Slim Matic. Yeah, God, you say, look from afar. Every day, every day. I'm big up Slim Matic. Yeah, you hear me? When you say, let me do us. Yeah, man, so when I see what I go on, one thing with Cartel has been saying, man, I go find something for rhyme with something. Yes, it come like the man can't talk without rhyming. But that is what's going on, my people. You don't know, Pinky Pink, that's a big up vibes Cartel for forward out. And I guess some people never believe the Cartel with a sure the support way much sure and all these things. That's it. Anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Freedom Street promoter Joe Bogdanovich clarifying the latest report that was made as it relates to the Black Friday 
sale. And you don't know, say, a report did come out, say, they're going to have some $10,000 tickets, right? Um, I think that's like the bleachers ticket or whatever. But anyway, him come for clarify that there will be no $10,000 tickets, my people. So, we just there for giving you the update. So, let us get to the story so we understand what's going on, is it? So, the article is saying, no $10,000 tickets. Joe Bogdanovich clears up Freedom Street sale confusion. Downtown Entertainment, the organizers of Vibes Cartel highly anticipated Freedom Street concert, says Persa seeking to take advantage of the Black Friday sale and Gaza Nation bleachers ticket will be required to pay US $75, approximately $12,000 for each. The regular price for the tickets is just $150, around 23600 But as a special treat to loyal supporters, Cartel has decided to slash the price for this exclusive offer. These tickets will be available on Black Friday weekend beginning at midnight on November the 29th and ending at midnight on December the 1st. The newspaper yesterday reported that Black Friday weekend sale would see people paying $10,000 for a discounted bleacher ticket but Joe Bogdanovich, CEO of Downtown Entertainment has made it clear that there are no tickets for that price. Freedom Street is said to be a monumental event and we want to ensure fans have the right information. Tickets are priced at $12,000 are US $75 reflecting the world class experience we're delivering we're excited to bring this unforgettable night to life and can't wait to celebrate with everyone on December the 31st Bogdanovich said Gaza Nation bleachers tickets are the cheapest and offer for the New Year's Eve show which will take place at the National Stadium in Kingston tier 1 tickets which were priced at $125 each hit the market as the cheapest those tickets were sold out shortly after they went on sale in August. Billed as one of the largest events to take place on the island, Freedom Street will see cartels sharing the stage with a powerhouse of stars, including Popcorn, Spice, Killibang, Tommy Lee, Sparta, Chronicler, Sean Storm, and Lisa Hyper. The show will be Fever's hitmaker first concert performance in 14 years, having spent 13 years behind bars for M-U-R-D-E-R before his conviction was quashed in July. So yeah, my people, there's no 10,000 at tickets twelve thousand dollar those two thousand dollar more so I guess if you have ten thousand dollar or I don't know if well I say it in a video yesterday if you had no money you just not have no money I don't feel like people forgot this so you know spend them last if them not have no more money because I wouldn't do that I have to have money and feel comfortable and thing is it but that's just my even though it's an experience you're not going to get again because it's the first performance in a 14 years or 13 years at from Vibes Cartel so I don't know but you can tell me anything about this in the comment section so the next thing we're going to talk about is Maka Diamond revealing the reason why well, if people hate her, you understand, or why she has been getting a whole bunch of hate recently, right? I you know since she do the song with Derek, um, more people start hate on her. Yes, it. Um, anyway, <laughs> Maka Diamond, it seemed like she did overseas and she had perform and thing, and she revealed to the people them say enough people are hate on her because of the way she look. You know her body up there, and she look nice and all of that, and all of the young boys them are lost so far, or the young boy them want her so. May I play that clip of my people? She also perform or sing our song. We don't even know if I say a hit song, but you don't know. So that are the most views Maka Diamond get on YouTube in a long time. Gone over 600,000 views and a long time. Years. It has been years since Maka Diamond get them views up on YouTube. But anyway, um, check out that clip here. Oh, no, 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 my people so big up maka diamond still is me me see some people are say well not some me see a comment where a man say boy any man who are singing a song they are fish but me i wonder if people are a pre the selector around about this so we are you know it seem like him a bong street and a vibe to it and all of that but maybe them selector they don't care because my pretty sure footer hype if him did it he wouldn't play the song you would have to get somebody else to play it or whatever it may be me sure no no say him now go play them song there's it 
Anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is DJ Khalid, who is currently in Jamaica, Zane. And you know DJ Khalid's birthday was on the 26th of November. So that was what, two days ago. So you don't know him celebrating 49th birthday and stuff like that. Initially, a DJ Khalid alone did forward out here. But him goes a boom and send for him wife and him kids and all of that. Fe. You don't know, enjoy the experience and stuff like that. You see me? Then you don't know DJ Khalid that enjoy the Jamaican foods and all of them little things there. Um, I'll show you some clips where he posts up first and also I'm going to show you a clip where he I guess you can say imitate vibes cartel. You know him cartel it have the little slang about kiss me baby. So DJ Khalid I use fame wife. I guess I fame see them that and I imitate it. But check out them little highlights here from DJ Khalid birthday celebration and thing. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you. Jamaica had the best birthday ever. The best birthday. I was with my family, my wife, my kids, my friends, and beautiful. Man, look how beautiful Jamaica is. I've been coming to Jamaica since I was a baby, right? Everybody asks how I gained all this weight. Jamaica. I gained all this weight from a baby from Jamaica. And I love it. You know what I'm saying? Because um, <laughs> it's just beautiful. So, my wife surprised me. I woke up this morning. She's like, yo, we're going to another island after this. I said, Ma, we got to go home. We're going to another island. We're not stopping. I said, I agree with you. I agree with you. Honey! 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 I agree with you. From the heart of Kingston, from the ice of Alaska, Buffalo soldier, Hawk or Rasta. I'm the original at the imposter, determined to make it with or with. Well, stepping in the. Huh. Watch your thing. Huh. I always have my dub with me. I always have my dub box with me. Huh. All... Somebody bring my trophy. Where my trophy at? Somebody bring my trophy. I always have my dubs on me. Big up Major Macro and all salmon worldwide. Yeah, man. So, you know, in the caption, it said Jamaica, birthday flow. God is the greatest, grateful, and thankful. That's it. You know, DJ Khaled love Jamaica like I say him born. Put it that way there. But as it relates to the clip where Ima kind of imitate Vibes Cartel, yeah, check out that clip here. Kiss me, baby. Kiss me. Oh, and I'm out. <laughs> Yeah, man, in the caption, him said, Big up World Boss Vibes Cartel. Big up his queen. See them because you don't see them. <laughs> Please, DJ Khalid, leave the rhyming alone. Anyway, him said, Jamaica, you know I love you. I be forward soon. As it said, so it seemed like him left maybe him back in America. I don't really know, but that's the post where he make, is it? And we didn't even see Vibes Cartel I react to the same DJ Khalid video. And him reposted on him IG page. But in the caption, Vibes Cartel said, Khalid, next time you said, do, and she should say, oh, I'm out. <laughs> so that's our cartel have to say. You don't know him just a joke around as it relates to that clip. You see, my people. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Lisa Hyper, who is kind of being accused. Well, not kind of. Who is being accused by some persons of borrowing Lady Saf flow. And this is after she posts up. I think it's like a preview for a new song. Where I come out, I don't think it's out as yet, you see me? So I can't see why them say she mimic Lady Sa or try to sound like Lady Sa. I actually play a piece of the clip 
when you can't tell me if you feel like she sound like Lady Saw a little bit. Obviously, me can't play the full track because you don't know. Maybe copyright claims are going to come in when the song come out fully or whatever. But yeah, check out that clip here, my people. Bring the fears of my Yeah, man. And as I say, people are say, you know, she sound like a Lady Saw spin-off. You know, there were like a couple of comments comparing her to Lady Saw and stuff like that. So, I want to know where anything is. Yes, I mean, somebody even has said, you are a cartel show, I know. Because <laughs> you know, in other song they shout her about inside her, you know, her private era, must say pretty and pink or something like so. Anyway, let me know anything about this in the comment section. Big up Lisa Hyper said speed. You don't know shadow the damn thing is it. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.